Ibanez guitars. Yes. <laughs> what do you have there? That's what we're showcasing today. This is Kiko's signature model guitar, all right, the 10BP. Kiko is a wonderful guitar player and, uh, you know, I just, uh, this is a beast of a guitar that just plays awesomely, especially since I set it up. <laughs> of course. Yes. So the, he's, he's obviously Brazilian, right? That's the idea? I think so, yeah. So, and he yeah. plays a lot of different styles, even though yeah. he's in Megadeth and Angra, yeah. right? So, yeah. I mean, this thing can play just about anything. It feels great to, to do any style, a lot of which I cannot play. Yeah. You know, I love playing guitars that, that reflect the diversity of, 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 of the signature, you know, musician who's on here and, and you know, things like this pickup configuration, five-way blade switch, and a push-pull tone knob. You know, just check out how, this, how glassy this sounds here. It's cool, man. It's a really cool guitar. The I do like board. the idea that the tone, instead of the tone knob being the push pull, it makes sense. It's easier to get to. It makes total sense to me. I mean, that's. And those knurled knobs yeah. make it easy to pull. Yeah. This guitar features his signature uh, DiMarzio pickups. So you have a ceramic magnet here, an all Nico magnet, and another ceramic magnet. Uh, the fretboard is Panga Panga. I've been just waiting to say that. <laughs> I don't know. Camera. Never heard of Panga Panga, but it's awesome. Great fretboard. Uh, this instrument is also reinforced, uh, reinforced with KTS titanium rods yes. in the neck. So it's never going to twist. And it's very, very stable. You know, this guitar is a really cool guitar. <laughs> you know, and, and it's, you know, it's well thought out. Yeah, and I've been, it always does great. You know, I mean, always making a great instrument. Um, little refinements too. Check this out. This extra access heel right here, all right? And, uh, you know, what can I say, man? This is a, this is a guitar that, that, that wants to be played. Yeah, it should be played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the fretboard radius is like 15 and 3 quarter, something like that? Yeah, it's flat. It's, yeah. it's, it's very flat. Uh, it, as with this one. We're not focusing on this guitar, but that's, yeah. but it's, and the, it's, I just love the classy, the classy, fret marker on the 12th fret. It's, yeah, it's, it's his it's thing. A Brazilian, throw back to the Brazilian, something with their, some, something with their heritage. Awesome. And I, I wish I could remember, but it's, it's just classy. Yeah. San Diego. <laughs> I really like this guitar, and I often say that sometimes guitars, signature model guitars, there's something quirky about them that's perfect for the guy whose name is on it, but... For nobody like, else. Yeah, and this is not the case. This is a totally playable guitar that really is, like you said before, is really well thought out. Really well thought out. It, yeah, it's a pleasure. It's, it's, and it's alder body, right? So uh -huh. it's got that alder tone, feel, yep. you know, that you'd expect from that with the maple top. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, I didn't have to say much on this one, so uh, let's take it through some tones. You want to go through a couple different things and see yeah. what, let some people hear what this thing sounds like. So position one is Humbucker by The Bridge. So that's where you're going to get that. Yes, sir. That's yes, obvious. That's that. what we want. Yeah. So. Okay. So position two is a single coil. Actually, this coil and this this uh, middle pickup. So 
pretty cool. What we're doing, just so you know, is yeah, it is. <laughs> so we're taking it through channel one on a TC50, which is clean. Channel two on the TC50, which has got some dirt on it, and then a high gain channel and channel three with the solo. But all these will have the solo button on, of course, because it's Ed. So <laughs> <laughs> position four is um, this coil and this pickup. Put Position five is the humbucker by the, uh, what is that called, the neck? The neck. Okay. That was fun. I made funny faces. <laughs> so now we're going to pull the coil tap. And what this is, is it, it, it's the, all the same pickup com combinations, but now there are only single coils whenever you are in this position and the, in the five position. So let's just go through. All we need to do is go through position one and five because they've already heard two, three, and four. Okay. So one. Yes, position five, please, sir. So that is the, the pickup, the coil closest to the neck. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so we've told you about the specs. We've told you about the tones and we've showed you what the guitar will do. It's got a uh, Floyd Rose-ish type uh, bridge on it. It is the Edge 2. Yes. Tremolo from Ibanez. And it is, uh, this is the Kiko Lorero. I almost said it as good as he says it, as good as Kiko says it, but not quite. So anyway, please chat with us, email us, call us. If you wouldn't, wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to our channel. We've got a boatload of videos you should see. We are known as the helpful lads in the land, and uh, we love to help people find gear and talk about gear and just chat all things music. Um, so give us a call. The number's somewhere on the website, moreguitars.com. <laughs>